clap, clap, back at Maui. So we're, uh, we're thinking about actually going to Maui. Getting the, some plane tickets, flying the camera guys out and going to Maui. So stay tuned. You might catch us on a beach in Maui doing a beer tasting in the near future. Why? Just because I think it'd be fun. <laughs> and uh, stay, stay tuned. <laughs> Anyways, Double Crooked Tree. Uh, this beer comes out in February. Um, it is a 12 percenter. Um, where this beer came from was everybody was making double IPAs or Imperials. I was one of those guys. Yeah, and calling them <laughs> double IPAs. And, but then the alcohol level would only be 9, 10, you know, or less. And I'm like, well, that's not a fucking double IPA. I mean, if, it, if you have an IPA that's around 6 or 7, then you should have a double IPA that's 12 to 14. So we went into the brew house, doubled everything except for the water. Out came double crooked tree. So you have the crooked tree recipe doubled all but the water. Um, which, as you can figure, is a giant malt. Oh, shit. Let's man. chug them. Let's wow. go. Here we go. <laughs> Double into, crooked tree. Now I'm getting into the camera, <laughs> camera crew's beer. <laughs> They're like, fuck, stop opening those. Um, so you get a giant malt hot bomb. Um, yeah. But what's nice about it is you get such a huge malty beer and such a highly hopped beer that the two balance each other out. Well, in developing this recipe, ah, too, it's something that's so cool. Not only is everything doubled, but even it down into the dry hop. So this beer gets double the dry hop in two different spots. So, so Crooked Tree will get its dry hop, which is a very healthy dry hop for its aromatics and pushing those, that hop or that perceived bitterness, you know, cause they're not, it's not huge BUs uh, for, for, you know, that bitterness that, that some, some beers, you, you know, you grab that and it's just hop. And it's like, you know, chewing on hops, not fun. I've done it quite a bit to, no. you know, try and understand what the hell. But, I've never uh, understood those people like, oh yeah, man, <laughs> higher the I've used the better. So, so, but the, okay. but the dry hop, you know, I mean, and seeing you just stick your nose into it, you know, I mean, it's, it gives you that. It's such that, a good, wow, good fucking you know? aroma. That citrus, pine, orange, grapefruit. Yep. And that sweetness, you can you, almost you get it just under there. But. Yeah. You can almost see like hard candy when you smell. Imagine mm. like orange, pineapple, pine, <laughs> citrus candy. Sounds like something for the Emporium. Yeah. Um, so Double Crooked Tree comes in, uh, like I said, 12% alcohol by volume. So it's not, you know, it's not a, a I'd say, beginner type of thing to go after. Um, but everybody watching this knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but Definitely not a party beer. <laughs> yeah. Don't pick up four of these and go, woo! The, the first time Aaron made this beer, I was at a location not Maui and <laughs> came over to, to a very excited Mr. Morris to say, dude, try this. <laughs> Needless to say, I stayed somewhere and on I that same hand, dirt I kept floor. handing them to him saying, here, try another <laughs> yep. one. So, I don't know how many you but, drank that night. But uh, yeah, too many. I can I can almost remember that. Hence why he works here now instead of over there. <laughs> but... Uh, but no, the, the the other thing too is we were, we were actually just talking before we um, um, fired these up. Um, this beer, yes, it's hoppy, and yes, those aromatics are really something to be desired, and the bitterness is something very nice, and how it runs with the malt character. It's it's really a, a well put together beer. I mean, Crooked Tree being my favorite beer on planet Earth, well, of course, I'm ready to triple the stuff. We just need a bigger mash ton. Quad. <laughs> so, but uh, but also we, what we were talking about was this beer can lay down. It can it can be aged. It can it can sit down. You know, but but. If you're going to lay it down, you know, you buy it in February, nice and fresh, and decide that, you know. Drink a couple of them. Yeah, get a couple of and those and, and experience that hoppiness, that, 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 that bitterness, those great aromas that we're just speaking of. Um, and, and, you know, set a couple aside and revisit them, you know, maybe next February when, when this beer is fresh again. Go grab it again and do a side-by-side. -side. And, and, and what we kind of want everybody to know is that, it's, it turns into a barley wine, essentially. I mean, the preservative value of the 12% alcohol, how much, there's so many hops in this thing. I, I think it'll last 50 years, you know. I'm, I mean, <laughs> I've got one of the originals still on my desk that shh, nobody knows about, and that's getting to be, you know, nine years old now. Yeah. And I bet you I could crack it, and it's going to taste like a really good beer. It's not going to taste like this beer, but it's going to taste like a really nice barley wine, you know, and, and go from there. But, but that's something, I guess, just from, you know, when you see double IPA, and some of those beers out there, including Double Crooked Tree, you know, don't don't go and open that bottle six months 
eight months down the road and expect what you're going to get in February. Expect, you know, some of that to the, the, the hops are going to dumb down. Yeah. The know. sweet, the malt sweetness comes forward. You get some, you know, some of that fruitiness that comes with the malt hop combination that, that it's a really nice, beer later on but but drinking it like this is pretty amazing yeah i mean this this beer was intended to drink fresh people um you know it is an ipa we want you to enjoy the hops you know the the aroma the bitterness that are there but on that side as uh wiggs is talking about when you do lay it down you get another whole nother beer which is fine but as i said you know originally we brewed this beer to drink fresh you know it's not something we expected to buy and go home and you know, not drink it right away. You know, when you get it, drink it. That's but, why you were handing um, me so many that day because it was like three days old. And you're like, we gotta get this gone. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, February. I mean, obviously, we stay very busy in the February, in the in the the January brewery month. What? What? This must be twelve <laughs> percent. <laughs> no, no, we stay we stay very busy in the brewery the months of January and February. You know, not only uh, especially this year with uh, you know plead the fifth drops Feb one, uh, double crooked tree drop Feb one, and rain and blood orange also just for this this year. I mean that'll move back to December uh, in, in following years. But but to to you know have two of the biggest beers that we produce come out in the same exact month it it uh, keeps us on our toes back there in the brewery but uh it's it's all worth it once you guys pick this up off the shelf hopefully and uh, and let us know what you think so cool. enjoy cheers